Welcome to the Weather Gurus update for July the 2nd, 2022. This is your weekend tropical weather update. And we have a couple of systems out here in the Caribbean, as well as the Eastern Pacific, as well as the uh, Atlantic, North Atlantic, along the Gulf Stream, Tropical Storm Colin. Please be sure to subscribe to the Weather Guru for the latest weather news and reconnaissance information. I thank you for your support. We're going to first start off with looking at the basins here on the infrared satellite here. And we can see that we have a clear Gulf of Mexico here. High pressure is firmly in control. Uh, we have some scattered showers here off the coast of Florida. We have a disturbance here moving through the uh, Lesser Antilles that's producing heavy rains in Puerto Rico. Uh, there's flash flood watches up for the eastern half of Puerto Rico from Fajardo down through the bays there um, in Humasau. And these are creating flash flood conditions there. Heavy rain has also been reported in eastern uh, Dominican Republic as well off the coast there. As this system propagates, there's only Hurricane Center is only giving it a 10% chance of development here. This disturbance is affected by upper level winds shear um, that's going to continue. So that's going to last for the next three days. So we don't anticipate it to develop. However, we have Tropical Storm Colin here. Now, Tropical Storm Colin is not well organized. Most of the convection, deep convection, is well off to the southeast. There is Tropical Storm warnings and watches in effect for the Outer Banks, North Carolina, um, and, and also some in South Carolina um, that may have been discontinued. Most of it's in North Carolina and the Outer Banks. Right now, winds are currently sustained at 35 knots, 40 miles an hour. Pressure is way up there at 10, 14 millibars. It's moving northeast at seven knots, uh, seven, uh, 6 knots, 7 miles an hour. So the system is going to emerge off the coast tomorrow and continue its path um, just to becoming extra tropical here. We can look at some details here of this system. It's very disorganized, um, but it's still producing some strong winds aloft here. And uh, that's creating some problems for maybe some boulders and also rip currents out there. And so it's not a good day to be swimming out there or anything. Uh, by Monday, expect it to be off the coast of the Gulf Stream, uh, a couple hundred miles south of the Chesapeake, mouth of the Chesapeake. Bay, southeast of the Chesapeake Bay, and just in open water at a tropical storm, and it will continue to disintegrate into being a uh, extra tropical system very shortly here. Uh, so, tropical storm Colin, it formed quickly off the tail end of a front there. Usually, these systems form like that out there, and uh, tropical storm conditions are expected today along the warning area. So, if you're in any of the outer banks, some um, Apex, North Carolina, down through Highway 12 there, there, there County, North Carolina, be careful for a beach erosion. Some rip currents and rough surf and heavy, heavy uh, localized rain flooding is the outline for that. So um, we do expect this tropical storm gust with this system. We don't expect anything crazy. As you can see, the infrared satellite here is showing most of the convection is well off to the southeast of the coast. here, And the system doesn't have a well-defined center um of, of circulation here the tropical storm and as you can see most of the rain is seared well off to the southeast and so we have a few more showers coming in here convection coming in actually that's associated with this um front that's coming through this disturbance that's coming through uh from the mountains of the appalachians here it's going to pull through the piedmont and onto the outer banks here later on tonight so really tropical storm collins rains are almost pretty much done uh by midnight tonight it should be done and uh conditions should improve after all this moves away now we look at the basin here we have bonnie bonnie emerged as you know it made landfall yesterday over nicaragua it pulled through the whole the whole uh, peninsula over to the eastern pacific and it's intensifying so we're going to look at bonnie now tropical storm bonnie is intensifying as it moves away from the nicaraguan coast here guys um you can see here that it is forecast to become a hurricane again um, out here in the eastern pacific and moving away from the mexican coast so that's great news uh, for them. They will occasionally experience some rough uh, surf and some showers, but nothing crazy. But it's going to move into cooler waters eventually. But it is going to be a hurricane through the majority of next week through Thursday. Right now, max sustained winds at 50 miles an hour. It is expected to peak. Maximum sustained winds are expected to peak above hurricane intensity. Uh, no more than Category 1. So you're talking about 75 knot winds, 85 miles an hour winds through uh, Thursday. Um, and so I know the people in Honduras, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua are happy that the system was moving away. It did produce heavy rainfall totals up to 8 to 10 inches as it made its track across the Central American coastline.
Now, looking at the national hazards here, of course, we have the red flag warnings out west. You guys know it's been extremely dry in New, Mex in, uh, New Mexico, but New Mexico's got a lot of relief from the monsoon flow up into the, you know, the subtropical jets have been coming up there. But in terms of the dryness in the rim of the Gan Grand Canyon, also in the, uh, Nevada from Elko, Henderson, up through Winnemucca, uh, Nevada, through uh, St. George, Utah, up through uh, I-25 corridor, Salt Lake City. Ogden, Utah. All these areas have been extremely dry and the red flag warnings remain in place. We also have uh, flash flood warnings in effect, uh, flood watch in, the, in effect for the uh, east of the Cascades um, and also in the stovepipe of Idaho. Um, we do have the tropical storm, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the tropical storm warnings in effect from Jacksonville, North Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way through the Outer Banks once again, Buxton, uh, Rodent, North Carolina, those areas along Highway 12 and Dare County, all the way up through the Outer Banks, basically. That's the warnings there for tonight. That is probably going to be dropped after 2 or 3 a.m. tonight as the system, Colin, continues to move away as a, tropical, a weak tropical storm is a minimal tropical storm at best uh, because of the convection's not there and it's just not it's just not producing as much rain as that they thought they was uh, we're gonna get that we as we thought we were gonna get earlier than the day. There is a severe thunderstorm watch for the Mid Atlantic. So those in the DMV, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area, also extending past up through the I ninety five corridor. So if you're in Philadelphia, the Lehigh Valley, um, over toward Jersey, maybe if you're in um uh, up through uh, Mount Laurel in Burlington, New Jersey, um, Atlantic City, down the shore. Uh, these areas are under a severe thunderstorm watch right now, as well as Connecticut, upstate the Connecticut River Valley, and also Boston and through Quincy, Massachusetts. You guys are in a severe thunderstorm watch. So there will be showers and thunderstorms that will continue to build, but nothing too crazy that you can't handle, guys. But it will be a rainy, stormy night. Uh, these showers will clear out by 11 p.m. tonight for most of the Northeast Corridor. And just as something to be in mind, low tornado risk threat, but some pea-sized hail and some winds and a little bit of rain is not out of the question, guys. So those are your national hazards that we have to look out for. Once again, the hurricane names, I'm going to give you the reminder that uh, they're supposed to be an above average season, as you know, for hurricanes. And so far, that's been moderate. You know, but remember, we're only in July. This is a sprint, not a marathon. We have to go to November 30th, which is the end of the hurricane season. So right now, we've done Alex, Bonnie, Colin is done. The next name on the list would be Danielle. Uh, and Earl will be the next two up. So Danielle and Earl. And right now, looking at the long-range forecast here, guys, this one here, the one that they're watching, the Hurricane Center only gives a 10% chance. If the shear, the northeasterly shear, can relax a little bit on the upper level of this portion here, it can have a chance to develop. But if there's any chance for development for this uh, system out here that's pushing through uh, south of Dominican and south of Puerto Rico, it will be next week late. We're talking uh, Saturday. If there's a chance for development for this next system to come, become Danielle before it gets close up to the uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and the Yucatan Peninsula. So we just have to see if the conditions improve, if the upper level wind pattern improves, and also if there's anything ahead of it, uh, if there's anything uh, more favorable in terms of the um, the sea surface temperatures and things like that because the upwelling of the Bonnie and other systems that came through. And so we just have to wait and see on that. So, guys, this has been your tropical weather update. And also your hazards update for this weekend. Enjoy your 4th of July weekend. It's a beautiful uh, forecast for the majority of the country. And so we're thankful and blessed in that. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you very soon on the next episode.